Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and for this staff tutorial, we're going to be going around the neck. So, one of the things that I really want you to remember here is that you can take your time while learning this, but it requires a lot of practice, and it's really helpful to use the same staff consistently until you get it down. Each staff has a different weight, so if you're practicing with a light staff one day, heavy staff another day, short staff the next day, long staff the next day, you're gonna have a hard time making this consistent. So grab the same staff, work with that as much as possible, and then when you feel really comfortable, you can try it out with other staffs, all right? Let's go ahead and get to work. Okay, so before we even start spinning the staff, the first thing that I want you to think of is we're gonna be using our neck for the staff to spin around. And if you place it at random spots on your throat, you're not gonna have a consistent way to practice and you're not gonna get used to doing this. And this is typically when people throw the staff, okay? If you think of your throat or your neck as square, with square edges, you can really identify the corners of your neck and that's where we're gonna be using the staff. Now this goes beyond just using the staff. Anytime you use like a chain whip or a rope dart, or anything that you, like a flexible weapon that you wanna swing around the head, it's important to remember these corners as well, okay? Now, the grip on the staff that we're going to use for this video, although you can change the grip, is a single end grip. So as I grab the staff, both of my thumbs are pointing in the same direction, okay? Now, simply, the movements are, I'm gonna let go of my bottom hand, and then I'm gonna take the staff and point it down towards the side, so down towards the corner, okay? Now, from here, I'm going to swing the staff and let the arm cross my body. We're thinking of your throat or your neck as a square. We want to attach our hand to the opposite corner in the front of our neck. A lot of people try to put the hand too far back, and that's also where you throw the staff. So I'm going to take my hand and place it at the front corner, making contact with the staff itself. Okay, this is where you want to make your first contact and let the staff carry itself around with the weight of the staff, okay? Now, for you to get used to just the staff moving, it's very simple. Once you get used to putting your staff up here, we're just gonna simply bend over and practice letting the staff go around. Catching it, you can catch it a couple different ways. Once the staff comes around, you can try to catch it with the same hand and use that momentum to continue around which is a little more advanced and a little bit harder to do. You have to bring your hand across, kind of like you're waving, and open it up and catch here. Or we can use our other hand, once it comes across, to catch it. Now, once it's in this position, I've changed my hand from a double to, or a single to a double end staff, so I'll also help it come around, okay? Now, for this video, this is what we're gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna use my opposite hand to catch. All right, now, all I'm gonna do here is bend over and let gravity help me out. Okay, so I take the staff, I'm going to place it on my throat, and then I want to use the weight of the staff to carry itself across. Now, this is different per, for each staff that you use, and especially if you use a spear. You may have more weight towards the tip, or if you have a typical double end staff or a bow staff that has equal thickness and equal weight, you're going to have a different position. For a kung fu staff or a single end staff, where it's thicker on one side and thinner on the other, you have to go towards your weighted balance, okay? So it's gonna be closer to the butt end of the staff than it is gonna to be towards the tip, okay? So as I bring my staff up, I go more towards the tip of the staff. Now I'm gonna place it on my throat here, and then I'm just gonna let go and let it roll across my neck and catch it with my other hand. Very simple, okay? Now, even though you may just do this on your first try, no problem, I suggest taking the time do this 10, 20 times, okay? Just get comfortable with the movement. Bring it up, let it go over and catch. Bring it up, let it go over and catch, okay? From this side, bring it up, let it go over and catch, all right? I'm not trying to go fast, I'm letting the weight carry itself, okay? Now, once you get used to that, you have to also get used to above when you're standing straight up and down and it's swinging around. So, the next step, is to practice standing up, but not really letting go of the staff. You're gonna bring it up, bring your other hand underneath, and then you have to give it a little push and momentum to let it carry across. A lot of people tend to mess up here by swinging their head around. If you swing your head around this staff, 
you have a chance of launching it away from you. So it's really important, just let your head be there, okay? Let something be in the way to, for the staff to move around. If you try to move it out of the way, then it's gonna fall off, okay? So that's really important, okay? Two things, take your time when you're bending over, touch that corner, and don't move away from it, <laughs> okay? All right, so once you're comfortable here with the, uh, just passing it to the other hand, you can start practicing adding speed, but also starting from a, a low angle, which is very easy, you can start standing more upward and get used to that until you can do it standing straight up. Once you can do it standing straight up, you can start from any kind of a position with the staff extended out, you can swing it around, around the neck, and then work into the next position, okay? When it comes in front of the body, in front of the head, you can also bring it up, spin it around the head a couple of times, and then do another strike from there, okay? But this is a lot easier than you expect if you take the time and remember a couple of key principles. Corner of the neck, don't move away from it, and take your time from starting low to develop the feeling to standing straight up, all right? Okay, so there you have it. Now, if you picture your neck like a square, it's very easy to do this one. And really, it's no different than when you're leaning forward from when you're standing up. So practice this one, take your time. It does take some time to get used to the concept and then afterwards for the body to get used to the feeling. And that's really the key here. After you're done with that, you can start adding it in between spins, making it a highlight spin. You can start working with all sorts of different weapons too, or going around different positions or different parts of your body, like the upper arm, the back, the waist, things like that, okay? If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, and as always, be sure to subscribe. Till next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bye.